Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? Welcome to another Genshin Impact video. I know that was a little too fast, <laughs> but yeah, welcome back. I'm gonna be making a video talking about Ball's banner right here, right now, and maybe try to make a prediction on what the Ball's banner going to look like. I know it's a little presumptuous of me to even make a prediction at this point, but I did kind of want to talk about it real quick with you guys alongside me so guys thank you guys so much for the recent love and all of my videos especially the last few ones i really do appreciate it guys consider liking the video subscribing to the channel as well if you do enjoy this video or this type of content or if you've got anything from this video at all and we get straight into the video all right so as you guys know your news banner is about to end in e eight days and 18 hours wow that is not a lot of time so just over a week here uh, until bald's banner releases and once that happens all is about to go down <laughs> a lot of people are going to dump every single one of their private gems into this new ball banner first and foremost obviously we're gonna be talking about ball here so let me just go into the it's the preview page for the whole entirety of the 2.1 update as you guys can see here we can see like an image of ball floating world under the moonlight this art is incredible okay so here we go riding shogun aka ball and we're just gonna read the text here her excellency the almighty narukami ogosho who promised the people of inazuma an unchanging eternity uh, she's going to be a five-star unit that is going to be coming out right after yoimiya and i'm really excited for that she looks absolutely incredible and if we go here we can see sangonomiya kokomi as well as kuchu osara Sarah is going to be in the ball banner so we're going to talk about the raiden shogun as well as ball at as well as Sara rather together I guess <laughs> and why this is really important anyone who's summoning on the Raiden Shogun banner or on the ball banner you guys have to know that if you're going to be summoning on ball and you're not guaranteed a ball you're going to be getting a few four star characters and one of those four star characters is going to be Kujo Sara if you get lucky of course and if you get lucky you get even some constellations for her her being in the banner already makes this banner that much better i can't remember the last time a five star unit came alongside a four star unit that are both new other than the yoimiya banner and to to me back to back new four stars new five stars that is a lot that is crazy that's unheard of from genshin impact in fact and it's kind of interesting to me because a lot of people might have wanted Sayu, so they spend their primary gems on Sayu. Now they bring on Sara right here. Boom! Another new character in the ball banner, which is super surprising to me. And in this case, I want to say that this banner is one of the most important banners in Genshin Impact. Not because, just, you know, ball being an archon, but Kujasar also being on the same banner right after a two character banner that is Yoimiya. So very interesting. The other two characters, they haven't released any information about them. So we don't really know who's going to be on the banner until a few days before it's actually out. So I want to be bold, decisive and skilled. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Ball, obviously, Sara. I'm assuming that Shangling will be on this banner, possibly Sucrose. I know that sounds a little weird, but they haven't released Sucrose from Klee's banner, and I'm assuming they're going to be doing that here. So I'm assuming Sucrose, Shangling, Dara, and Ball are in the same battle. Hopefully I'm right about that, but that is just my prediction on the banner that's going to be coming. Am I excited? A lot of people are as well. This is going to be the most well done banner of all time, if I'm not wrong about that. Not only mentioning just the characters themselves that are going to be on this banner but also the free stuff that's going to be coming out not to mention a new five star cryo bow user aloy coming for free to everyone on the playstation network and then us on the 2.2 on the 2.2 update but a lot of people are going are going to be making content on aloy which is going to be pretty nice apart from that we're also going to have the genshin impact reward which are the 10 wishes the few thousand prima gems so that's around 20 wishes already dumped into this ride and shogun banner and then people are gonna be like well like already went into this banner might as well finish the job just buy a few gems and continue going 
That's at least what I think that people might be doing and it makes a lot of sense. And then we come into the weapon banner seeing the engulfing lightning and then firework goes off. Yoi Mia's shooting all her freaking bow and arrows and uh yeah <laughs> engulfing lightning so this is going to be the five star pole arm that's going to be coming alongside ball as well we have the other items as well and not to mention please these are probably the two greatest weapons on here and i'm really excited about them the catch especially for, because it's going to be one of the best in slots for Raiden Shogun. So even if you don't get Engulfing Lightning, if you don't spend on the Engulfing Lightning, you're going to get a free 4-star R5 weapon that's going to be great on ball. I'm 100% sure about that. And I'm going to make a case for that by showing you guys in a showcase how good this weapon will be. I'm going to be trying this weapon on ball. I'm going to be trying this one on Shang Ling as well on my free play account. And let me know who else you want to see this on. Those are the two weapons I'm going to be talking about. So this is the whole thing with the Moon Chase Tales, with the Moonlight Seekers and all of that. If you click on here, we can actually, we can see restaurant, food. This is how you're going to get your Prima Gems here, mostly. It's their whole anniversary thing. So that's going to be pretty nice. And we're going to the Moonlight Seeker. You're going to do these, collect those, trade them for some gems. All of this is pretty cool, and I'm really excited for what to come. And Ball's Banner is going to be incredible. Should you summon on Ball's Banner? If all right, I said this in the last video I made about Ball's Banner and my tips to free to play players. If you don't have a guarantee for Ball, do not summon. I know it's really tough, it's really hard, so you could quote unquote build pity and keep on summoning, and then get a five star unit that you don't want. And then you're going to be guaranteed the next character banner. Well, what's the point? You could go for Zara, go for constellations for Zara, but you're going to be free to play and it's kind of hard to get those gems back. I can tell you that out of experience. I just don't see why any free play player would summon on this banner if they don't have a guarantee or else they just don't care. If you don't care, you probably stopped listening at this point. And I highly do suggest you stop listening if you don't care. But please. Keep that in mind as you move along your free play journey or whatnot. If you're guaranteed ball, congratulations. You're going to get one of the greatest characters of all time. Me saying that is very copious <laughs> because she is an electro based character and I really hope she does well and face well because she is an Archon. All the Archons are incredibly good. I have two Archons on my team right now just to show you guys. Uh, we have MTN, Zhongli, almost full Archon team. It's going to be incredible. At least for this account. I'm rambling on too much here. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, consider liking the video as well as subscribing to the channel as well. I am going to see you guys very soon in the next video. Goodbye.